Hey friends, welcome to another one. I'm out alone today, but sometimes that's just nice to get away and enjoy uh, creation and get some nice solitude. The day started out pretty rough. Uh, as you can hear, the wind noise is awful. It will lay down later in the video. Uh, and coming across the bay, I was hitting three to four foot waves. Uh, pretty nasty stuff. But it all calmed down later on in the day. So in this video, we're going to see how I handle uh, some unwanted visitors. Um, got really crowded at my spot. A lot of people saw me catching fish and came over to check me out. Uh, we'll see how we handle that. All right, we're going to get right into the action. Enjoy. Bright color, bright fish, I think wrong size, huh? He really wants that bottom though. Oh, we'll give him a quick measure. Quick measurement though. No, he's definitely not a keeper, but it's a fish. I got a black fish. Not a bad day. Yay. <laughs> All right. Giggles, we'll see where he's at, how close, how far away he is. Going to guess him 14, not even. Not even. <laughs> he wants to come home. Bring your brother, your big brother. I think it's the same one. earlier there we go he's up he's up he's up he's up yes Woo! 
I don't know if he'll keep, but he's better than the one I've been catching. Oh yeah, he'll keep. That's a nice one. All right. One for the box. Yes. First of two boats here. Um, actually, there's two boats in this one shot, um, and yeah, they actually you can see the second one there. You can, they actually pulled anchor both of them to come over and check me out. Um, there's a lot of boats on this piece, and not very many people were catching. I really contributed that to just getting some chum down and really getting a bite going. Those small fish can be annoying, but they really attract the bigger fish. And the more little hits you can get, the more chance you have of getting bigger fish on the line. Hmm, stop shooting your hook on those. I don't know if he's a keeper, but we'll find out in a second. I don't think he is. Bigger than the rats we were catching, but... Looks like the first one. Get the old goals in your day. On you, rice fisheries bring the fish out. Ah, 
<laughs> There's your big boat waves are gonna wait here. There we go. Hey, fishy, fishy. Oh, yeah, hell, cute. Yes. Fish. This is the first sea bass of the trip. Keeper. Looks like I think it's gonna be real close.
Nope. Not even that close. Although, something tells me that that thing is off. This guy here, he's a lot closer than he looks. I would give him about 25 to 35 yards. Definitely an easy bow shot. It's tough on these GoPros. I have this in the, in the linear mode, so it's a really wide fish angle lens. It's tough to tell distance. Uh, but it's also kind of funny, this guy, because he saw me catch, I don't know, two or three shorts, a couple that looked like keepers, maybe from far away, and he pulled anchor. He wasn't there for five minutes. you got to get a bite going, guys. Uh, I mean, he was awfully close to me, so the chance of him pulling my fish over is probably pretty slim. But uh, the longer you stay in a piece, the better chance you have to catch more fish. Um, certainly, if it's okay to pull up if you know all you're catching is shorts on. There he goes. He's done. He's had it. up with all these people coming right up to me. I guy's not as bad as the last guy. Well, these next guys, they kind of take the cake. Uh, they wind up literally setting up know, maybe 20 feet from my bow. Um, at, w at a few points when the drift's right, they're literally over my anchor rope. Um, <clears throat> fuck. Yeah, you can tell I'm getting a little frustrated at this point. But it is what it is. Um, you can get all angry and yell at people, but it's not going to go very far. Just stick around and see how we handle this. I just want to make a note that they were close enough that I could hear all their conversations with just talking normal. So I wound up having conversations with these guys throughout the rest of this video. So just wanted to explain that. How's it going, guys? Doing all right. Well, this is one of the few mornings where it's nicer now than when I came out. I was like, scared shitless coming across this thing this morning. They were like three, three and a half footers. Oh, come on, get up there. Yeah, <laughs> in this little thing. <laughs> Two. Two, yeah. I've been here all morning building the bike. It's been like, they'll come, you'll see, like you'll feel like two big hits and then you'll catch two keepers and then, and then that's it. Were you guys out since this morning? Yeah. I don't feel as bad you guys coming so close then. <laughs> it's funny though. 
Do you guys have a spot on your finder on, on your Navionics on this spot or something? A lot of people must because my fish finder broke. So I just went over the biggest rock I could find on my Navionics chart and put down. And I've had four people come as close as you guys are this morning and leave. It's crazy. I was like, man, I've never had that happen before. Yeah, exactly. You guys might be all right there. You're like right on the drop off. won't go in the box. You won't be buying the beer. No. Man. <laughs> that one that one looked a lot bigger than it was. <laughs> yeah, right? I mean, you see, I call them bulldogs. It's in the rocks. There we go. It's out. Oh, it might be a little bigger. Let's see. He was sitting on it in the rocks. So guys, I'm gonna have to pull up soon, and I think my anchor's literally underneath you. Yeah. I got a few more minutes. <laughs> That wouldn't work out too well for me. I think you got a good four feet on my boat. One's not too bad, right? Not bad for a bad day. I came off it. So I thought I would get out now without getting in you guys' way. I'm straight down right now. I should be alright. I might not get the anchor back, but I just I just oh there we go. I just drilled a hole but I couldn't get the clamp to, to do like the trick with the, uh, you put it in the back and you zip tie the front of the anchor. So it pops off and you can pull it up backwards. But I couldn't get the D-clip off, so. <laughs> I'll have to cut it and do it. Sorry guys, I'm gonna do it. I know, I know, but you know what? 
But you know what? Do you know how many people would have caused the problem? Like, you know, it would have been easy for one of us to say something, some, something stupid. Uh, there's so many people piss me off, and it's not this. It's it's people causing problems that don't need to be. Absolutely. Gentlemen, good luck. Good luck. I hope you catch the big one. <laughs> I heard, I heard, that's what I said. <laughs> Sorry, buddy. <laughs> well, sorry if this is a little too click bait ish for you all. Uh, no, no big drama here. There doesn't need to be any. Yeah, so they came and set up 20 feet from my bow, they were over my anchor rope. Yeah, I got a little angry at first, but they're just trying to fish. They were having a bad day. They've been out all morning. You haven't caught a single keeper between any of them. I get it. You make dumb decisions. It's not up to me to go crazy there. Um, guys, when you're on the water, just relax. You're all out there to have fun. No need to have uh, fights and yell at people. YouTube's full of that. We don't need any more of that, guys. Alright, well thanks for watching. Please hit that subscribe button. Click the like. Um, hit that little notification bell. Uh, like I always say, I ain't going away. So, tight lines, God bless, get outside.